forward to building this program, you know, having familiarity with the area and the talent around? Well, I, I'm very familiar with the conference. I'm very familiar with North Texas and South Texas soccer. I have a lot of club contacts. I, I plan on branching out a little bit more uh, to other uh, regions of the United States to recruit, but the contacts I have in the North and South Texas area are, are very strong. And uh, I think there's, there's players that uh, will be interested in the new direction that this university seems to be going. And of course, led by Terry, her, her direction and her vision are extremely clear. And I like that. And, and I want that. I want to know which direction we're going. And so I'm very, uh, I feel like I can go out and tell, I think I can go out and tell uh, recruits and their families what we're all about and uh, feel like it's a positive for them and for their future. And uh, like you just said, you know, you know what you're going to tell recruits and stuff. What is your, what are your main focuses and philosophies on building a, you know, soccer program at this level? Well, first and foremost, I think you you have to find the recruiting niche for the university that you're working within, and really pursue it and believe in what you're you're presenting. Uh, and then go out and just try to locate those players that fit what the university is all about and fit what uh, what I want to do as far as the soccer team goes and uh, just pursue them and, and let them know uh, that they're going to get a great education and that they're also going to have a great time playing soccer for me. And then, uh, you know, what are your teams, you know, like, you know, traditionally what description would your teams have? I mean, you know, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, I mean, when they say, oh, th th his teams are going to do this. and well, I think that one of the things that every team I've ever coached has been a little different than the previous team. But one thing that is for sure is that we're going to be uh, a hardworking team. We're going to be organized defensively. Uh, we're going to uh, try to capitalize on our opportunities. And we are going to make pursuing excellence on the soccer field a priority. Talk about some of you know, what was like the defining moment? When did you realize that Laterno was the right fit for you? <laughs> After I called you about 20 times, <laughs> and then you called him. Yeah. Yes. Oh. You know, I've, I've really, the past uh, five years, I've really, really drawn closer in my walk with the Lord. And through a lot of prayer and just seeing doors open and seeing a few other doors close, it just seemed as though to me that God was really leading me to this university. And so maybe, uh, what, three weeks ago, I guess, I'm not sure the exact time frame when I made my decision, that this was the place I needed to be, but it, it was a few weeks back, and literally it was just, I felt like where I needed to be. And it's hard for me to move from my hometown. I've lived in Richardson for years, for almost my entire life. So for this to come to fruition, really had to be the Lord, because I wasn't just willing to get up and leave. Uh, my entire uh, life had been in that one place pretty much. Talk about what, what, what kind of adjustments you, you know, you'll have to make, not only as, you know, on the soccer field, but just you know, from soccer coming from UT Dallas to, to Laterno, what's, you know, what kind of changes you'll have to adapt to? Well, I think uh, one is that I'll probably need to, I've never had a graduate assistant before, so I've got to go find a graduate assistant. And uh, I think that's going to be different. I've always had an assistant coach, but never a grad assistant. So it's going to be maybe a little different working with a student assistant as opposed to a regular assistant. Um, but I don't see a, a lot. I, the main thing is the facilities are great here. The athletic director knows where she wants to take this program. And to be honest with you, it's a breath of fresh air. And I'm very excited. I, I don't see a, a lot of differences in in transitioning because I think it's still going to be coaching soccer <laughs> and I'm excited about that and uh, I do really love the fact that we have direction and a clear vision. 
talk about like a makeup of a, a, a soccer student athlete. What do you, like what do you look for as you recruit? Well, I think at Laterno, uh, what I and similar to what I uh, had at uh, UT Dallas was that the student athlete needs to be a student first and an athlete is part of the I call it student one and an athlete one A in a sense and uh, I want them 100% committed to their academics but I also want them 100% committed to our soccer program if they choose to play and to me they can have the best of both if they approach it with the right attitude if they buy into what we're trying to accomplish and if they maintain the uh, desire to win and be competitive because I really honestly believe that co being competitive at this level is not a bad word. I think a lot of, you know, it, it's something that I think needs to be a, a, a priority that because they're competitive in the classroom, I want them competitive outside on the soccer field as well. Any further questions? Thank you, folks.